I'm Garrett Bouchel, a baseball player here at Oklahoma. Our unique Sooner nickname comes from the Oklahoma Territory land rush that began at noon on April 22, 1989. Those who went in too soon were called Sooners, and the name came to symbolize an energetic individual who travels ahead of the human procession. Our athletic programs have always sought to be ahead of the pack, and that has produced 26 national championship teams. The Sooner football program gets a lot of publicity and has won seven titles and has produced five Heisman winners. But it's our men's gymnastics team that leads the way with eight championships, five in the past eight years. And this year's team is led by Steven Legendre, six-time All-American and defending national champion in floor, vault, and all around. With five individual championships as a freshman and a sophomore, and a team championship in 2008, Steven makes it look easy. But if that's the way it looks, that's not exactly the way it is. Steve's one of the hardest working gymnasts that I've trained. Um, through the two years that I've had him in my gym, he's certainly been the guy that works out the longest, works out the hardest. He came in probably behind the level of even some of the better college gymnasts, and now he's been to the world championships. He's made the national team, he competes internationally as if uh, he's been doing that stuff for a long time. Competing in all six events is definitely, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time and maybe takes away from being able to focus on one or two events. There's some days when, you know, if I'm having a rough day, I, you know, I might say to myself, oh, I wish I only had to do two events or something, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm always happy I do all around. I think competing as an all-arounder definitely is an advantage in some ways. Uh, I think it kind of, helps develop you as a more all-around athlete, which of course is gonna help you on you know, all six events. As you watch Steve, remember, you're not just watching an NCAA athlete. You're watching an athlete who also competes internationally. A gymnastics has taken me in 2007 to Guatemala for the Junior Pan Am Championships. In 2008, it took me to Toyota City, Japan for the Toyota Cup. 2009, it took me again to Japan for the Japan Cup, which is a great teammate, and in 2009 to London, England for the individual event world championships. You do have to train pretty much all year round to stay in shape. It's definitely a little hectic uh, with school and uh, traveling a lot year round and stuff like that. Uh, you know, fortunately for me here, we have, I have a great advisor and there's so many people up in uh, the student life, which is our academic center that they're willing to work with us. So. I mean, really, they make it as, as best it possibly could be. Steven has his sights set on at least one more trip overseas. The Olympics in London in 2012 is definitely a huge goal for me. Uh, you know, it's something I've kind of aspired to do since I was a little kid. So uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a tough road there. A lot of things can happen from now until then. It's, uh, I think, about two and a half years from now. and. You know, injuries can happen, good things can happen, bad things can happen, so it's just kind of a, uh, you know, it's a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work and uh, hopefully, you know, when that time comes, I'll be uh, as best prepared I can and get on the team. For the Sooners, the goal is the same every year, to win another national championship. And as co-captain, Steve Legendre leads in his unique way. He's not always uh, the most uh, verbal in terms of you know yelling around the gym to the other guys, but you know he has uh, his workout planned well in advance. Comes in, takes care of business. You know, very focused about what he's doing. You know, and that you know is something that you can always look over and go, well, what's Steve doing? You know, how do I keep up? Being a student athlete is it's awesome. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's great as far as. For the student athlete, you get an education. You get to compete on a team with, you know, probably the best friends you'll ever have. So, uh, you know, you can't trade that. As far as, you know, time management and stuff like that, it's definitely a little extra work. Uh, you know, sometimes maybe you wish you were just an athlete or just a student because you're stressing out on finals and competing at the same time. But, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, something you get over quickly for the joy of everything. Good luck this season, Steve, and thanks to NCAA on campus for visiting the University of Oklahoma.